Do you know what a sacral chakra is? And do you know that awakening it, enlivening it, and activating it is something that could add pleasure, delight, spice, juiciness, and fun to your life? In this video, I'm going to teach you what a sacral chakra is and how to activate it through three really beautiful and juicy tips and advice. I am Ea Torado. I'm an energy healer and a dance artist and through my YouTube channel I share tips and techniques that are practical, grounded, simple, easy to do that is all about meditation, movement, mindfulness and things that are just gonna make life a little bit more fun. So to start off, what is the sacral chakra? Well first, um, chakra is Sanskrit or ancient Indian language for spinning wheels. And it is believed that we all have a subtle energy body, and a part of that subtle energy body is our seven chakras. All right? And the sacral chakra is located about three inches below the navel or our belly button. There, it is associated and um, very much affected by the health of reproductive system, our lower back, our lumbar spine, um, organs in the midsection. When this sacral chakra, and we all have it, okay? And I also want to just premise that it's not like in our physical body we're in, if you slice off a sacral chakra, it's going to bleed and you see it and you touch it. No, it's invisible in that sense. So it's in subtle energy body. When this chakra is imbalanced, we feel dull, we feel bored, we feel like we're not interested in the pleasures of life, both simple and grand, and even cut off from our own sexuality, afraid to express our own sexuality. Some teachers and masters also call the sacral chakra, you know, the womb area where creation happens, um, where our creative energy is, and also our spiritual energy is. And they refer to it as this, the second heart. So the sacral chakra is very, very important. When this sacral chakra is enlivened, activated, um, balanced, we don't feel guilty at all in expressing our truth, in feeling our emotions, in moving and speaking out in the world and living our lives in what feels like our truest and unique expression. So, let us start off with the three tips. So the first tip, you know, if you're just starting, maybe set aside, um, you know, 10 minutes wherein you're not disturbed and it's in a quiet room, turn off your gadgets and just, you could be sitting or lying down, but just gently place both hands on your poisson area or your lower belly. And there, just take three deep breaths, you know, close your eyes and just feel, you know, or feel this part of your body. At some point, you can also place your hands on your lower back. Yeah, I mostly say in my classes, in my healing classes, my yoga classes, my meditation classes, that our body is so wise and that there's so much magic in this touch, especially touch coming from our own hands. So take this time, you know, maybe it's one minute, maybe it's two, maybe it's five, when you're just feeling and connecting with your sacrum, yeah, your sacral chakra and just feel into, you know, messages that may arise from that simple meditation of just being in touch with that part of your body. And then number two, tip number two is this very simple, yet for most people, difficult exercise and it is to feel. The sacral chakra is connected with our emotions. Again, when it's balanced, we're able to really feel our emotions and express them in a healthy way. Whether that's through art, through movement, through singing, through any creative endeavors, or you know, in a good, necessary, yet difficult conversation with our loved ones, we're able to hold space for both our positive, even delightful and orgasmic emotions, and also the negative ones, from grief to rage to complex emotions, okay? Step two is, it's important to keep the sacral chakra healthy, to feel, to be in touch with our emotions and see what even the negative emotions are teaching us about ourselves, about our boundaries, about our desires, how we want to move forward in life. Tip number three is basically an exercise that I love to do. Create 
The creative energy is not separate from the spiritual energy. There's a reason why we call, some of us call the goddess the creator, the great creator. And all of this is a creation. And some spiritual practices believe that each one of us as a person is a manifestation in physical form of this big grand creation and therefore we have in ourselves the ability to create and that's just something that's very natural to us so to tune in tap in turn on activate and balance the sacral chakra go ahead and create you know maybe that's drawing maybe that is singing maybe that's dancing maybe that is creating something new no matter what age you are you are in right now and whether you call yourself an artist or not just being in a creative mode wherein you're putting something out there for the world to see with passion with something that is so truthful to you is something that will really keep your sacral chakra healthy and then lastly, tip number four, this is an extra. I know I said it, there are just three tips. So bonus, 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 ding, 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 is indulge. Indulge in the small things and the little things in your daily life, you know, from, from smell to food um, to sight, some savor. Um, how to be in that mode where in your sensing the world from a place of sensuality you love the texture of you know of something in your bed or your pillowcase or that you really acknowledge and savor a good smell or good food and you eat it slowly these are ways to feel more deeply and remember that we experience life through our senses it's it's what gets us into a very present mode and also a very creative mode and a very delightful mode so I hope that is of help to you. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I am healthy in my sacral chakra. If it resonates with you, and if not, please leave there any sharing, you know, any story that you want to say or share regarding this video, regarding your relationship with your sacral chakra, with creativity, with indulging, with being in your senses. Thank you so much for listening and please watch my other videos. Please like, subscribe, and also ring the notification bell. And um, I'll see you again next week. Bye!